The TT motorcycle races on the Isle of Man have always had a reputation for danger. Competitors are killed every year, but they aren't the only victims. This year, nine fans have been killed, taking advantage of the public roads which are closed to try out their own high-powered machines. Two died today. Andrew Simmons reports from the island. Tonight, another crash, and the motorcyclist who came here as a spectator has ended up as a casualty. He's fighting for his life in hospital. Earlier, a young English couple were killed in a head-on smash along a road which has no speed limits. So far, none of the TT racers have been killed. It's their fans looking for fun who are dying. Most of them do enjoy this, themselves and go home safely. Unfortunately, uh, each year, uh, some people don't go home. This is a racing bike in practice. Many fans own machines which are just as powerful. Tragically, some ride at similar speeds with less experience, and the law here lets them. On open roads, there are no speed limits. They're mad. They're going too quick. Bikes are too fast. Their heads aren't fast enough for the machinery. There's a lot of people here going quite mad. It's the one time of year they do, isn't it? So it's, um, people find it acceptable. The authorities refused to crack down on a small but lethal minority by introducing speed limits. I love watching them. I love the thrill of it. I love to see the speed. And I accept that that's in the blood of the spectators who come here. The police softly, softly approach, while controversial, doesn't surprise islanders who often join in the bikers' nightly parties. 12,000 motorcycles and 35,000 people come here every year, boosting local businesses. But the death toll on the sidelines of the TT has never been higher. This, the remains of a 31-year-old accountant's motorcycle. He was killed instantly. And this smash cost three lives. Two of them were in their 20s. Tonight, only hours after the fatal accident on this bend, it's as if nothing had changed. The speeds are still high, along with the risks. Andrew Simmons, News at 10 on the Isle of Man. Downing Street and the Ministry of Defence both said today they still haven't decided whether Rosyth or Devonport should get the contract to refit Trident nuclear submarines. But as we reported last night at...